How's it going, modern manual therapy viewers? It's Dr. E, and today I'm going to go over a variation on the lateral tibial glide self mobilization. Lack of ankle mobility, you're going to have a loss of tibial internal rotation. You can see that this is the side that I normally have to work on. There's less tibial internal rotation when you check this passively. And a quick way to do that when you have someone do it actively, you can, you can tell if they have to supinate and curl their foot, they tend to have a loss. When you check that passively, it will be more of a block or obstruction to that end feel, whatever that may be, tone or bone. So the variation is to work on that. That is normally, I would have somebody either in a half kneel or their foot up on a step if they can't get down for some reason. And then a pronate, and work on lateral tibial glide. And you can see when I hold this foot stable and abduct my hip, I can drop that hip out further than on my restricted side. So a variation of that after I mobilized for maybe 10 to 20 reps or so, is that I can also do that with a little bit of tibial internal rotation and then try some circumductions if lateral tibial glide was uncomfortable. I'm also getting some un uncomfortable kind of approximation feeling or pinching feeling uh, behind my lateral mass. I can just kind of wiggle the skin back and forth a little bit, wrap it with an edge mobility band, or provide a posterior lateral malleolar glide, hold that foot in internal rotation, make sure you weight it, and then do the hip abduction for that lateral tibial glide. Granted, you can see my forefoot is supinating. I don't have as much mobility. So if you're working on restoring maybe end range, uh, mobility and threat-free end range mobility in the half kneel and the dorsiflexion test and in actual function, and you already kind of restored this and this, but they're still lacking a little tibial internal rotation, and the normal tibial internal rotation, half kneel and the dorsiflexion, functional mobilization isn't working, what I would progress them to then is the internally rotated lateral tibial flexion. Remember to follow us on Facebook, subscribe to the blog, listen to my podcast, and check out my products on edgemobilitysystem.com.